一般人是没有办法进来，对不对？对，一般人不能进来。这边是主要是天文学家他们在这边来这边做观测，他才能够做这边观测和做研究。在山上所有的天有有在这边有天文观测工工作计划的，那他们就在这边就就国旗在这里。Oh, OK， 好，所以我们看到美国、阿根廷、澳洲、巴西、加拿大、智利。法国、法国、日本、台湾，我们的国旗是。毛拉基峰天文台在三千公尺的山腰上盖了这栋小木屋，供观测的天文学家短暂居住。住在这边的天文学家，他们呃日常生活的的地方嘛，嗯，餐厅，他在那边吃饭，三餐在那边吃。那那边有读书室，还有还有娱乐室。这边是我们的阅读室、休息室，我们在这可以在这边读书啊。冬天会多冷？这边啊，会到零下、啊。会下雪？对，会下雪。那所以在冬天关心是是好的季节还是不好？冬天关心是非常好的季节。所以你们最常最常是在冬冬天的时候。冬天是最好的天气。然后又冷又下雪。对。天文学家有专属的旅馆。原因是要在海拔三千公尺以上的高山睡觉，有诸多禁忌。每天如果说要从海平面一直到四千公尺这样子来回走的话，身体会受不了。嗯、所以说他们要住在三千公尺的地方，让身体一直调试在这种高山气候。那这样的话，他们晚上上山工作的才会能正常的运作。现在气压和比如说含氧量，现在剩下多少？这边哦，大概七十五百分左右。然后上去还会更。上去就更更,更不一样。对，我们规定是不让人家在三在四千公尺那边睡觉，睡觉一定要下面到下面睡觉。啊、哦，为什么？到四千公尺的话，你开始会觉得含氧量很不够嘛、嗯，那你就很容易想要睡觉。那如果说不幸的你有高山症，那你一睡下去恐怕你醒不过来、哦，是这样子。那你们这样晚上去关心会不会就是观测这样子会不会很危险？所以一定要两个人。另外一个人是要，所以我们一定要两个人要互相有安全，安全之间的的照照应， oh, okay. 而且绝对不能睡觉。你说、哦、我我我我要趴一下可不可以？不行，你要趴一下的话，那我们就要下来了。Oh. 这是这是规定。哇，三千公尺高的火山上，然后天文学家的宿舍里， uh -huh. 吃着冰淇淋。感觉，谢谢，谢谢。天文学家旅馆，吃吃喝喝都采用良心签照。我突然觉得这个职业好棒。天文学家在毛纳基峰探索生命起源，但当初设置天文台时却费了一番争斗。夏威夷原住民认为设置天文台会亵渎圣地，科学家则痛斥当地人迷信。双方争论直到一九八七年设立天文博物馆，追溯尊重原住民、关心向航海的历史，争议才算和平落幕。The first astronomers to Hawaii were the navigators. They had to navigate by the stars, and they, knowing that, trusting, having faith that if they sailed following their spirit, eventually they would find land. We believe many didn't find land, but these people found land and settled here. You cannot move forward if you don't know where you came from. You have to know who you are if you want to know where you're going. 一千四百年前，第一批夏威夷原住民没有导航技术，靠着群星指引穿越太平洋，发现生存的岛屿。今天的天文学家在这块土地的最高峰，迎向宇宙怀抱，寻找生命的起源。尽管物换星移、沧海桑田，但人类对浩瀚星空的茫茫敬畏，与探究苍穹奥秘的好奇执着，千百年来始终不变。
欢迎回到《火山岛之女神传说》，聚焦夏威夷。被太平洋环抱的夏威夷，气候温和，雨量丰沛，加上火山土壤肥沃，让夏威夷的凤梨和甘蔗产量都居世界第一，被称为是美国的唐岛。但夏威夷最大的经济收入来源，竟然不是蔗糖，而是国防工业。夏威夷位居太平洋海域中心，得天独厚的地理位置，成为兵家必争之地。一九五九年，夏威夷成为美国第五十州。美军夏威夷基地现在负责指挥太平洋战区二十五万美军、两百三十艘军舰和一千六百多架飞机，等于将近一半的美国海外驻军都掌握在夏威夷美军指挥官的手中。夏威夷的战略地位有多重要？让我们先从历史和战争的地标——珍珠港来看起。Yesterday. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked. 美国海军开道下，车子越过大桥，我们进入夏威夷福特岛的军事管制区——珍珠港。这座漂浮在海上的白色建筑物，就是当年日本偷袭珍珠港、伤亡最惨重的亚利桑那舰。美国后来在沉船上方盖起这座白色纪念馆，哀悼殉难的官兵。七个窗口代表十二月七号历史悲痛的那一天。沉船到现在还不时露出油来，美国人称为那是“亚利桑那之眼泪”。We're really lucky to be able to go and visit there as on a memorial and pay tribute to those people that you know went before us to pave the way for us to make our lives easy for doing what they did back in the day. Getting to go on the Missouri, I mean, getting to see it every morning is just a shock reminder of, hey, this is what the history that we get to live and that we get to see every day. John Hatchman, 美国海军士官长，三十四岁，在夏威夷驻军超过十年，美国海军独家授权下，他将带领我们进入历史与军事的重镇。灰色的巨型战舰雄伟伫立在珍珠港湾，和亚利桑那纪念馆遥遥相望。它是密苏里舰，也正是同盟国接受日本投降的英雄战舰。一九四一年起造，一月份起造，设计的图纸总共用了一百七十五吨，是花了三年的时间才造好。它本来呢，这么大的战舰是要七八年时间才造好。美国人知道它马上就会加入二战了，所以呢，它是花了三年的时间，二十四小时赶工。重达六万吨的战舰甲板，长度是三个足球场，共有二十层楼高，三座十六英寸口径的炮台高高耸立。这艘巨型战舰参加过二战，也打过韩战和波湾战争，直到一九九二年才退役。征战五十年，战果辉煌，是全世界最后一艘退役的主力舰。一九四五年九月二号，麦克阿瑟将军就是在这一块甲板上接受日本无条件投降，为二次世界大战画下句点。So this is where the the table. Okay. There was a chair on this side and a chair on that side, and microphones back here. Mm -hmm. And Allied representatives stood back here, which also include the Republic of China. Japanese stood right here. Okay. It's uh, well, it's the most important, relevant thing about the battleship. It's a huge battleship. It's beautiful, well engineered, 
uh, has all kinds of capability, but the fact that World War II ended is uh, very symbolic. We, we call it the, uh, the bookends. The Arizona represents the beginning of World War II for the United States, and, then the, and it's the end of it for everybody right here in Pearl Harbor. 集成的亚利桑那号，受降的密苏里战舰，历史的伤痛与战争的教训，在珍珠港同时存在。但没想到，除役二十年的古董战舰“密苏里号”，二零一二年重新上战场，只是这次是在好莱坞电影《超级战舰》里。电影描述外星人入侵，所有战舰都被摧毁，最后只剩“密苏里号”成功拯救地球。电影场景就以夏威夷当基地。美国海军史无前例的支持，让拍摄团队把以前已经报废的“密苏里号”拉到珍珠港外海实景拍摄，海上英姿、气派甲板、驾驶舱装备都真实呈现。两星期的拍摄时间，这艘巨型战舰再一次历史出航，重温英雄滋味。It always makes a sailor proud to be able to stand on the the mighty USS Missouri. The nickname for the Missouri is the Mighty Mo, and that just means the strong, the powerful Missouri. 而实际进入军舰之内，也一窥美国海军的日常生活。Okay, this is the crew living space, right? That's correct. This is what's known as a berthing. Um, this is where everyone will sleep for the enlisted folks. Now, although these racks are a little bit older, we call each one of these racks, and they're coffin racks because it feels like you're inside of a coffin. It's <laughs> so small. Very, very small. Now, you'll notice that this is your storage space that you have. Oh, so okay. you'll have this storage space plus one of these wall lockers right here, uh -huh. and that's all the room that you're going to have for your for your uniforms uh -huh. and your clothes. 制服放这边，然后这边就是自己的储存，放一些衣服啊，装备。嗯。And they just lock up and down, and this folds, and you can close it. Ah, and then you sleep. A, then you sleep a, on top of it. So, and as you can see, this one that's closed, it's very very small. So can can you sleep? <laughs> Can I fit in here? Yeah. I can barely fit in one of these racks. Wow. And you'll see that I have to actually have my feet yeah. stretch out. Oh my god. It's so but if I lay like this, I touch the top. Uh -huh. My feet can't go all the way straight. Mm -hmm. And I can't go like this because I hit the side. Wow. So, so they're rather small. Yeah, very small. And very hot. <laughs> so it's not comfortable, right? Once you get used to it, it becomes very, very comfortable. Because you shut this and everything seems like it's holding you tight at night, and you just sleep right through it. Okay. Like a bed, like this small bed. But the American Navy still sleeps in this bed. So right now, you you still have a little coffin rack. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Wow. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use coffin racks, and they're about the same size. Yes, we still use co
、被发现、被探索、被开发，也许已经从波利尼西亚人的原始之家，变成商业和战略的岛屿。但这颗太平洋珍珠所散发的光芒，将如创造者佩雷女神手中的火焰，永不褪灭。欢迎回到《火山岛之女神传说》，聚焦夏威夷。夏威夷原住民和所有生命形式之间都存在着精神联系。根据他们的传统，他们的神创造了岛屿、天空、海洋和动植物。因此，在夏威夷，一山一石、一草一木都不能破坏亵渎。或许就是这一份对原始力量的谦卑态度，让夏威夷群岛得以生生不息。非常感谢您今天的收看，我是舒梦兰，我们下次再会。